Shovels are indispensable tools used in agriculture, construction, gardening, and various other industries. While shovels have been made from various materials, the production of shovels from rail steel represents a significant advancement in both quality and durability. Rail steel, known for its high carbon content and strength, offers a robust material ideal for manufacturing tools that need to withstand heavy use over time. The foundation of this process lies in the selection of high-grade rail steel, typically sourced from railway tracks. These rails conform to the stringent Gost R516852000 standards, which ensure high carbon content. This carbon enrichment imparts exceptional strength to the steel, allowing it to maintain a lightweight yet highly durable structure. The carbon content in rail steel is a crucial factor, as it enhances the shovel's resistance to wear and tear while preserving its malleability, which is important for shaping the shovels during production. One of the most important aspects of shovel production from rail steel is the specialized double hardening process. This advanced heat treatment method is designed to minimize the loss of volatile carbon during heating, reducing it by mere fractions of a percent. By doing so, the steel retains its carbon content, which is critical to maintaining its strength and elasticity. This treatment not only improves the shovel's structural integrity, but also ensures it can endure significant mechanical stress, making it highly reliable for demanding tasks. Ergonomics and usability play an equally important role in the design of these shovels. Each shovel is carefully crafted to offer maximum comfort and efficiency. The footrest, for instance, is designed to fit comfortably under the foot, making it easier to apply force while digging. The transition from the footrest to the socket where the handle is inserted acts as a natural reinforcement, adding structural stability to the entire shovel. A unique feature of these shovels is their self-sharpening edges. Each blade is sharpened during production, and this edge can cut through a variety of tough materials, such as wood, ice, or even softer metals. Over time, as the shovel is used, the edge sharpens further, maintaining its cutting capability without the need for additional sharpening. To extend the life of the shovel, each product is coated with a high-strength varnish that provides excellent protection against corrosion. This coating shields the steel from environmental elements such as moisture, ensuring that the shovel remains rust-free and functional even after extended use in harsh conditions. Additionally, the connection between the metal socket and the wooden handle is engineered. The unsealed seam of the socket allows the steel to grip the wooden shaft tightly, preventing loosening even when the wood swells or shrinks due to changes in humidity. The spring-like flexibility of the steel ensures that the pressure exerted by the handle does not cause breakage at the joint, thus maintaining the shovel's functionality over time. The manufacturing process begins with raw material, typically high-speed steel, HSS, or cobalt steel, being fed into a rolling forged machine. This machine shapes the material into a cylindrical form, preparing it for further processes. The rolling machine uses heavy rollers to apply pressure to the heated metal, creating the basic cylindrical shape of the drill bit's body and forming the helical grooves necessary for cutting. Once the cylindrical blank is created, the next step is to focus on the drill's cutting tips. Specialized cutting machines are used to precisely cut the tips of the blank to form the basic geometry of the drill's cutting edges. The machine ensures that the cutting tip is properly proportioned to the required specifications. After cutting, the grinding process begins to refine and sharpen the tips of the drill bit. A grinding machine removes any excess material and shapes the cutting edge to its final geometry. The tip grinding must be done with high precision because this determines the cutting performance and wear resistance of the drill bit. The next step involves straightening the drill bit. During the forging, rolling, and machining processes, some warping or bending can occur due to internal stresses in the material. Straightening machines use a combination of hydraulic pressure and precise measurements to correct any deviation from the desired straightness. 
The straightened blank is then transferred to a lathe for turning. Lathe turning shapes the Morse taper shank, which is critical to how the drill will fit into the machine spindle. The Morse taper is a self-holding taper designed for secure coupling with the machine. The precise tapering of the shank ensures that the drill bit fits snugly, preventing slippage during use. At the end of the Morse taper shank, there is typically a tang, a flat area used to help remove the bit from the machine spindle. A milling process is employed to cut this tang. The tang provides leverage for the drill bit to be ejected from the spindle after use. Snagging is a secondary grinding process used to remove any burrs, rough edges, or excess material that might have been left on the drill bit after the primary machining steps. This ensures that the surface of the drill is smooth and free from imperfections, which could affect performance or lead to damage during use. Snagging also prepares the drill for the final polishing stages by smoothing out irregularities. Once the rough edges are removed, the drill undergoes a polishing process. This gives the drill bit a smooth, shiny surface finish, enhancing its aesthetic quality and improving its wear resistance. To enhance hardness and durability, the drill bit undergoes heat treatment. This process involves heating the drill to a specific temperature and then cooling it in a controlled environment, usually in oil or air. Accurate cylindrical grinding of the shank and edge The next step is cylindrical grinding, where both the shank and the cutting edges of the drill are ground to high precision. This ensures that the shank is perfectly round and smooth, allowing for precise fitting into the machine spindle, while the cutting edges are sharpened for optimal performance. Cylindrical grinding provides the final dimensions and surface finish required for high accuracy. Grinding the point The point grinding process is crucial for the drill's cutting ability. Specialized machines grind the point of the drill to form the correct geometry, typically involving a two-flute design. This process involves precise angles to ensure effective chip removal, reduced cutting forces, and improved cutting accuracy. The geometry of the point directly affects the speed and efficiency of drilling operations. After the point is ground, the drill bit undergoes rolling mark engraving. This involves embossing or marking important information on the shank of the drill bit, such as the size, material type, and manufacturer's logo. Finally, the drill bit undergoes a nitriding process, which involves diffusing nitrogen into the surface of the metal to enhance its surface hardness and wear resistance. Nitriding forms a hard, wear-resistant layer on the surface of the drill, further improving its longevity and resistance to corrosion. Machine loading is the initial step in the production process of RUCO core drills. It involves placing raw materials or semi-finished products, high-speed steel bars or carbide rods, into the machine. The operator ensures the correct material is loaded according to the required specifications. The machine is then calibrated for the production batch, including settings for dimensions, speeds, and cutting parameters, ensuring optimal precision and performance in subsequent processes like grinding and cutting. This step shapes the core drill's spiral flutes, optimizing chip removal and ensuring efficient cutting performance during drilling. Precisely sharpens cutting edges for enhanced drilling accuracy. Quality control ensures that each core drill meets strict performance and dimensional standards. During this process, the core drills are inspected for accuracy in cutting edge sharpness, spiral flute geometry, material integrity, and overall durability. Advanced measurement tools and testing equipment, such as micrometers and optical systems, verify precision. Finished core drills are carefully stored in designated areas, organized by type and size, ensuring protection from damage and corrosion. A test drill is conducted using a sample core drill to verify cutting performance, accuracy, and material suitability before mass production. 
Producing shackles through upset forging is a state-of-the-art manufacturing process that offers several advantages over traditional methods. In upset forging, a heated metal bar is compressed along its axis to form the thicker sections of the shackle, resulting in a highly durable product with enhanced mechanical properties. This process not only strengthens the metal, but also creates a smoother surface finish, which is crucial in reducing wear and tear on synthetic and wire ropes, extending their lifespan. Additionally, upset forging is an efficient process that generates less material waste compared to other forging methods, making it more environmentally friendly and cost-effective. Loading is a critical first step in axle manufacturing. Begin by selecting high-quality raw material, then carefully position it in the machinery. Use fixtures or clamps to secure it, ensuring proper alignment. This minimizes the risk of inconsistencies during subsequent machining processes, laying a strong foundation for quality throughout production. In this stage, the material is roughly shaped using cutting tools. This establishes the basic dimensions and removes excess material. Following roughing, the axle undergoes finishing, where more refined tools achieve the desired surface smoothness and precise dimensions. The axle is then subjected to cold rolling, enhancing its mechanical properties while further shaping it under controlled temperatures. During grinding, the axle is processed using abrasive wheels to achieve a smooth, precise surface finish. This step enhances dimensional accuracy, removes any remaining irregularities, and ensures that the axle meets stringent industry specifications, ultimately improving its performance and longevity. After grinding, the axle must be thoroughly washed to remove any residual metal shavings or contaminants that could affect performance. A comprehensive dimensional check follows to verify that the axle meets all required specifications, ensuring it is within tolerances. Finally, the axle is marked and labeled for identification. This step is vital for traceability and quality assurance throughout its life cycle. An axial closed die rolling machine is an advanced manufacturing tool used primarily in the metalworking industry for shaping and forming metal parts with high precision. This type of machine utilizes a closed die process where a metal workpiece is placed between two die halves, which are contoured to create the desired shape when pressure is applied. The axial closed die rolling process begins with heating the metal, typically to a temperature that enhances its ductility and malleability. Once heated, the workpiece is positioned between the two die halves. The machine applies axial pressure, forcing the metal into the contours of the dies. This results in the formation of complex shapes and features with high dimensional accuracy and excellent surface finish. One of the key advantages of axial closed die rolling is its ability to produce intricate geometries that are often difficult to achieve with traditional machining methods. The closed die process minimizes material waste making it a cost-effective solution, particularly for high-volume production. Additionally, the mechanical properties of the finished product are typically superior due to the strain hardening and grain refinement that occur during the deformation process. Axial closed die rolling machines are widely used in various industries, including automotive, aerospace, and manufacturing of heavy machinery. Common applications include the production of gears, shafts, and other components that require precise dimensions and enhanced mechanical properties. The process is particularly beneficial for creating parts that must withstand high levels of stress and wear. While axial closed die rolling offers numerous advantages, it also requires careful consideration in terms of die design and material selection. The dies must be robust enough to withstand 
understand the high pressures involved in the process, and their design must be optimized to ensure consistent results. Moreover, the heating process must be carefully controlled to avoid issues like overheating, which can negatively impact material properties. Single furnace upcast lines represent an innovative and efficient approach in the copper production industry. These compact units are built around a combined melting and holding furnace, which streamlines operations and enhances productivity. By integrating the melting and holding processes, these units minimize energy consumption and reduce operational costs, making them an attractive option for manufacturers. The maximum output of a single furnace upcast line can reach up to 12,000 tons per annum TPA, demonstrating their capacity to meet substantial production demands. This output is facilitated by four different furnace sizes, each designed to accommodate varying production requirements. The available holding capacities of 6, 8, 10 and 12 tons of molten copper allow for flexibility in operation, enabling facilities to select the size that best fits their specific needs. The design of these furnaces promotes efficient heat retention and reduces thermal losses, which is crucial in maintaining optimal melting conditions. This efficiency is further enhanced by advanced temperature control systems that ensure the molten copper remains at the desired temperature throughout the production process. Such precision not only improves the quality of the final product, but also minimizes waste. Additionally, the compact nature of the single furnace upcast lines means they require less floor space compared to traditional setups. This space-saving design can significantly reduce the overall footprint of a production facility, allowing for more versatile plant layouts and potentially lowering infrastructure costs. The automatic wire stripping machine is a highly efficient tool designed to strip copper wire quickly and easily. Engineered for precision, this machine can remove insulation from various wire sizes in just seconds, making it ideal for both industrial and DIY applications. Its user-friendly interface allows operators to set the desired length for stripping, ensuring consistent results every time. Equipped with powerful cutting blades, it can handle multiple wire types, reducing the time and effort needed for manual stripping. This not only boosts productivity, but also enhances safety by minimizing the risk of injuries associated with manual tools. With its compact design, the machine fits seamlessly into any workspace, and its durable construction ensures long-lasting performance. Whether you're recycling scrap metal or preparing wires for electrical projects, the automatic wire stripping machine is an invaluable asset that simplifies the task while delivering exceptional results.